Well, I just wanted to draw what we're fixing to do on a braid. And if some of you guys that watch uh, Woodcarver's Corner have never carved a braid, this is a really good way to do it. And so in my drawing, I'm going to start the hair being a little wider at the top. And then it's coming narrower at the bottom. And then it's tied, let's say a tie here of some sort with a knot. And then, of course, the end of the tie is flowing off down here. And then the end of the hair doing something down here. So we're going to braid this. Now, you can start out at the bottom with a zig and a zag. Now as I do these zigzags, notice that I'm not going all the way to the outside of the hair. I'm going up through the middle and I'm going to get longer with each segment as I go up. In other words, here I'm going to get a little longer. Keep it going uphill quickly. Don't get to zigzagging too flat across there. You need to come uphill quickly. And I'm getting a little longer each time. This apparently is a student that's interested in, in braiding. See? Because he's over here. And he's bugging me. All right. I'm going uphill quickly. I'm zigging and I'm sagging. You can start with either one, the zig or the zag. It doesn't matter. Joke, joke. Ha ha. All right. Notice that I didn't go all the way to the outside of the hair. Now, I'm just simply off the end of each one of these zigzags, I'm just going to come up and around, up and around. Up, up, up. And of course, this one may end up in the last zag of the braid here. Now, on this side, same thing. Up and around. Up and around. Up and around. Now, the biggest mistake that I see students make when I'm teaching this in seminars is they'll get way too flat with this zigzag situation and all of a sudden they're not able to bring these braids around together because there is a rhyme and a reason to these braids. In other words, this point here is actually coming out and around here. See, same way here. This is coming out and around here. But... I'm going to lay these in on this. Of course, I'm going to clean up some of this bottom and get the hair ready. Uh, I'll probably do that this evening in my um, out in my man cave. In my, I do a couple hours in the evening carving session. So I will get these braids, probably on the other one too, our other mask, ready. We're going to show you guys how to lay this braid in there. I wanted to do a braid for you guys, and um, normally I wouldn't be using a black magic marker, but then on the other hand, we're a long ways out. So we drew this on the paper, and I'm going to draw it here. Two important things. Keep coming uphill quickly. And you're getting slightly bigger each time you're doing the zig and the zag up through. And keep in mind that you're not going all the way to the edges of the hair area. You're giving yourself some room on each side. So we're going to zigzag coming up. And get that part drawn in there. Now, 
off from these ends of the zigzags, I'm going to come up and around. And of course, there'll be one down here, even though it's coming out from under the tie. You might notice that I already have the tie kind of started in here. But everything has to kind of be brought along together. So, I'll tell you guys a quick story. I might have said this before, but I ain't sure. But, you know, when I was at War Eagle years ago, the seminar, and we were carving late in the evenings, and Doc Cosby, an old guy, a lot of you guys might even remember him. Of course, he's passed away now, you know. And he used to come to the War Eagle seminar every year. Well, one night, I was sitting there struggling, trying to do a braid on some hair. And Doc says, I can show you how to do an easy braid on hair. So while we were just sitting there uh, visiting and carving and talking about stuff, he showed me his technique, and this is it. You just do the zigzag pattern up through there. Maybe I should get my glasses on here. And I'm going to take a V-tool. Anyway, Doc showed me this in probably 30 minutes, you know. And, of course, at the time, gosh, I was a young guy. I was probably 30 years old or something like that at the time, you know. And I'd been carving for quite a while, but I just never attempted to do much braids. So this was invaluable little information that he showed me. Now, notice that I'm doing my V-tool coming up, and I'm bringing them up and around the best I can. As I, like here, I'm following the hair kind of up and around, right? Uh, as we've talked about before, you guys will just have to put up with whatever wood you're carving. Uh, of course, to do something like this, basswood would probably be the choice to braid hair in. I could even work this uh, hair and this tie on the hair a little bit. Now, I got my V-tooling in here, you guys. Let me tighten my vise up just a little. Now I'm going to take this V-tool and I'm going to lay it over on its edge, kind of, and knock these sharper lines off. Now the grain of the wood here is one thing I'll have to pay attention to because here in a little bit, with the way the grains lay, and it's going to want to pop up off there, especially in this butternut. Now, if you guys were carving basswood, you might not quite have that problem. All right, so see, I've, I'm going up through here, and I'm knocking the edges off this, the braid. There, the wood, the uh, grain's trying to get me there. All right, I got my zigzagging in, going here. I'm rounding the edges of it up. A lot of times at this point, you guys, I will take my knife and... I'll make a stop cut right where these all come together here. Um, let's draw it right quick. Because where, here's my zigzag, zig, and zag, and zig, and zag, coming up. And this is going up and around. Now, 
right here where it comes together, right here, I'm going to take a knife and depth and, and do a three-way stop cut. Same way here. I'm going to depth and right here and do a three-way stop cut in there to start getting some depth in the middle of our braids. So I'm making a stop cut here. Probably got my hand right away. I can't really tell. So I'm depthing, depthing just a little bit right here. And of course, as you can see, it would take you a little while to do this. But see, I'm pulling that three-way stop cut right there out of there. Now, my next step of the braid is I'm going to take a, a number seven or a number five. Let's start with the small number five, and we'll go from there. But I'm going to hook the edge of a fishtail. You guys notice I use a lot of fishtail gouges. And I'm going to hook it here and take this piece of hair on around, see? All right, I'm going to round this out. I'm going to round this out on the back side. What you're doing is just bringing this back side of these braids around. So as you can see, it would take me a while to sit here and do that. And not only that, I'm also rounding the little locks on the braid. I'm rounding them up like any square edges like that or like this, I would be rounding this up, see? So these are the basics. And, of course, I will continue to clean up here as I bring them around on the back side. I did some clean up here on this, but in here is where I'm talking about. I would be in here cleaning some of this stuff up. The key thing on this this particular project you guys is the fact of this depth i tried to maintain this depth coming around but you get the hang of what i'm doing here you get them set in you start rounding them up 